tell that you are very cold. It is a bit on the chilly side, ladies. Temperatures today struggle to get out of sunset behind you. I know. I That's hope you're right. inside when that happens. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, some sad news tonight. She's given us respect and chain of fools. But now the Queen of Soul is facing the fight of her life. Love love my heart. Me too. I love her. And we're all praying for her. Absolutely. Now from the Queen of Soul to the Queen of Talk. Oprah opening up in one of her most intimate interviews ever and is live with a look at tonight's special. Hi, Jane and Sarah. Well, it's being called the most candid and personal interview Oprah Winfrey has ever given. We've seen Oprah bring the toughest celebs to tears. Well, now the tables were turned and Oprah couldn't keep it together. Click on the chat banner icon. Jane it and Sarah. Exhausted, then why is she starting her own network? network. Talking I know. about exhausting. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Most air travelers are frustrated but tolerant of the new airport security system and rules. But we've noticed that some celebrities have a little more trouble keeping cool, calm, and collected when it comes to traveling the friendly skies. Take a look. Not so friendly, are they, those guys? Not so friendly <laughs> at times. All right, well, buying a Christmas tree should be a feel-good tradition, but how do you know you're getting the best price for your tree? Because Siop is going to tell us. He's live in the Upper East. We have are a great resource, rather, for these different trees. So check out those two resources, and you can pay what you want. So go online, God the Miss Daily News, <laughs> and pay what you want for the tree right. that you want. Here's the thing. Real estate in New York is different no matter what neighborhood you're in. So obviously, so are the trees. So are the trees, depending on what neighborhood you're in. All right. All right. When we come back in 60 seconds, Kim Kardashian made more than any other reality star this year, and she's here live to tell us how she did it. I want to know. Speaking of breaking records, find out. And the newest New York City resident, Kim Kardashian, joins us. Well, New York temporarily. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Temporarily, but I love it here. What do you it's look It's a best? little cold right now. It is, compared to L.A., but, yeah. you know, get used to it. You'll love it. Just bundle up a little bit. So I'm thinking about TV shows. You've got books. You've got all kinds of products endorsement. And I have to tell you, when people knew you were coming on this show today, they were lining up. I've gotten phone calls. Everybody <laughs> wants to meet you. Well, how, does, how, does, how does that, how do you react to that? What's crazy is, like, my sisters and I, we still haven't quite, we, we don't, like, get too caught up in it. Like, at home, we're just totally normal, and we'll be, like, walking through an airport, and someone will call our name, and we'll turn around and think it's just, like, a friend from high school or someone that we know, and then we're like, oh, wait, probably the show or something. Do we, you like that popularity, or is it, is, sometimes does it seem a little out there? I mean, I think that, you know, it's been a little overwhelming more recently i think that there are times when we just want to you know run into a grocery store and not have like a ton of like paparazzi cameras follow us but it comes along with the territory for for us to say that it's you know not anything that we expected would be kind of a lie. We know that this kind of comes along with the territory, and we're so thankful that we have so many fans. Sure, you bet. It's very flattering at times to know that people are, are so interested and really appreciate what you do. So your reality show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, is the highest rated show on the E! Network. What is it you think people love about it? I think that, you know, they see the glitz and the glam, and, you know, we live in Los Angeles, but at the same time, you know, we're not like these spoiled brats that just sit around and shop all day and party all night. I think they actually see that we're pretty down to earth. We work all day long. We fight like every family does. There's like some relatable aspect, but then there's also that side where they kind of want to live vicariously through us, I think. You know, your mother was here on Tuesday. And we talked a little bit about the book that you've just, which, by the way, is number three on the New York Times <laughs> list, okay? Thank you. Um, but we talked about the fact that you guys had to pay for, quote, unquote, extras when you were kids. And she said you had such a strong work ethic. Did that come from her? I think it was a combination. A lot of it, I think, had to do with my dad as well. Um, he really, you know, believed in us not having, like, credit cards and cell phones and all the other luxuries that our friends had growing up. Well, your father, Bob Kardashian, I, Robert Kardashian, I am astounded by how much you talk about him in the book, and you dedicate the book to him. He died, of course, about mm -hmm. six years ago. Yeah. Tell us about him and, and what you miss most. Well, I think that, you know, everyone was kind of like, well, what else can you kind of tell us in because we do reveal so much in our lives on our, you know, reality show. But I think our lives of who we were growing up before we had the show is who we really are and our dad was such a huge part of our lives that for us to not explain and and talk so much about our childhood growing up would like you know 
disservice to who we are. For those people who don't know, your father, Robert Kardashian, was, of course, the guy who had been a lawyer, stopped being a lawyer, came out to help represent O.J. Mm -hmm. Simpson, one of his best friends. And you make yeah. it clear in the book, you really don't want to talk a lot about that period of yeah. um, his life, because it was kind of painful for you guys. I mean, I think it was tough having my mom, who's best friends with, you know, Nicole and the Brown side of the family, and then my dad, best friends with O.J., and... You know, we have a lot of respect for his kids and are still close with his kids. So, you know, if anything, we try and just tell a story that it was a difficult time in our lives because it definitely made an impact on the way our parents raised us. And, like, there was a separation between my parents' relationship, even though they were divorced. Um, so I think that we mentioned it in the book to kind of explain how parents go through, you know, ups and downs and how they decided to work it out for the children. But ups and downs in a very public yes. place. Yes. Which had to be tough. I love one part of the book. It's page 41, and in it, it's the contract that you signed with your dad for your first car. Yes. How old were you then? I was six, I was about to turn 16, and in order for me to get a, a car, I had a, a requirements that, you know, I had to have a certain GPA. If I crashed the car, I was responsible for paying for it. Just a bunch of things, and I did hit it. I was in traffic. I hit someone, and I had to get a job and pay for it. And, and we had no... I signed the contract. He stuck to it. <laughs> You know, he sounds like he could be tough on you guys. Absolutely, but I think it completely shaped who we are today. And, you know, I think we work for everything that we have, and he really taught us to do that. You talk in the, or she, you talk in the book about how your mother uh, started giving you guys waxes when you were 12. So a little bit of that is because of your <laughs> Armenian background. But you talked yes. about laser hair removal, and I know you've got a product over here that you, that you want to talk about. It's called the TRIA. What is uh -huh. it? Well, the TRIA is like an at-home laser hair removal system, and it's um, the only FDA-cleared product that, you know, you can, it's like an at-home laser hair removal system. And, you know, we've been very uh, verbal, and we've shown it on the show, getting laser hair removal. And with our hectic schedules, you kind of have to stick to a certain, six week um, period of when sure. you have to do it again and I, I you know it's hard to make appointments so when I heard that they came out with this product I was like oh you my were god right on I it. have okay, got I to need get this. this exactly now uh, the Twitter thing you guys are so into Twittering and yes. you, you gave it up for like a, a, a day I think it was like five days got five days last week the week yeah. before and it was yeah. it was all about for charity yeah absolutely you know um, Alicia Keys came up with an amazing I think a genius idea for a bunch of celebrities to go digitally dead um, until we raised a, a million dollars for AIDS and to help, you know, to keep a child alive. And I, it, it worked, and we raised the money. And Must have been hard, though, not to be on there Twittering, because I know how much you guys love it, and sometimes you and your sisters really go at it. Yeah, I mean, it was like the, my friends that were involved, you know, Serena Williams and Ryan Seacrest, and we were all, like, emailing each other, like, I'm going crazy without Twitter and Facebook and MySpace and our blogs. And so it did show us, I think, that we definitely are so much more connected um, than we, you know, had imagined. We didn't know that we would miss, you know, the digital world so much. It was crazy. Well, you know what's happening right now is all the people watching this show are saying, will you Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. If you tweet me, I will tweet you guys back. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. Thank Happy you. holidays to you. We really enjoyed you being here. Tell your mom Thank hi. You. She was great I the will. other day when she was here. I will. Coming up, the new year is right around the corner, and Jersey Shore Snooki will be dropping with the ball. She's also trying to break a record at the same time, doing something she knows best. New Year's Eve. There's no better place to be than New York's Times Square. This year, Jersey Shore's own Snooki will be dropping the ball, and she's hoping to set a world record while doing it, doing what she does best. Things affect millions of so And thank you, and thank you. Thank you, guys. Time now to find out what's coming up at 6. Hey, Chuck. How are you? Coming up at 6, we're following the investigation.